double click on setup to open up Fluent. Make sure double precision is selected and then click OK. Our general tab is what, the way we want. So double click on models, right click on energy and turn the energy equation on. Next, go under Materials, Fluid, Air, right click and choose Edit. We want a non-dimensional problem, so we will put the density, specific heat, and thermal conductivity all to 1. Next, we need to add our source term, so double click on our fluid domain. Enable source terms, and then go to the source terms tab, go to energy, and add an energy, energy source. We will want just a constant, and we will use negative 3. This corresponds to an alpha of 1 half. Click OK. Double click on boundary conditions. We have just our interior and our outer wall. We'll edit the wall. And under the thermal tab, we'll use a temperature boundary condition. This is in Kelvin, uh, but we want to work with Celsius. So go under units and look for a temperature and then change to Celsius. Close out of that and change this to one degree Celsius. Click OK. Under controls, we'll go to equations and we'll turn off the flow equations. Click OK. We'll create a report definition to monitor convergence. Right click, new, surface report, and use area weighted average. We'll call this heat flux out. And for field variable, we want wall fluxes, total surface heat flux at the outer boundary, and we'll print it to the console. Click OK. We'll go under Monitors Residuals. Notice we only have the energy equation, which is what we want. Uh, it turns out that this will actually uh, converge more quickly than we want it to, so we'll add a convergence condition to on our heat flux to make sure that it is truly converged. Go into initialization, standard, and we'll change this to 1 degree C. Click initialize, and then go to run calculation. We'll leave the pseudo transient as is, and we'll just enter 20 iterations.